I'm Karen Lloyd at the University of Tennessee Department of Microbiology. Many microbial lineages have no cultured representatives. In order to quantify them, my colleagues and I determined the percent identity of each publicly available 16S rRNA taxonomic marker gene to its closest cultured relative. I'm Lonnie Crosby from the UT ORNL Joint Institute for Computational Sciences. We performed this large BLAST calculation using HPC BLAST, a parallel BLAST implementation developed at the UT ORNL Joint Institute for Computational Sciences and supported by the Intel Parallel Computing Center program. Custom scripts written by Junqi Yin were used to obtain the input sequences and prepare the runs. HPC BLAST distributes both the sequence queries and database among nodes of the Beacon supercomputer, now a part of our advanced computing facility, to substantially decrease the runtime needed to align these many tens of thousands of sequences. I'm Drew Steen with the University of Tennessee Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences. We found that with the exception of human bodies, in which the vast majority of archaea and bacteria were from cultured genera, the majority of sequences in most environments were from uncultured genera or higher taxonomic groups. This was true whether we looked at Sanger sequences, metagenomes, or metatranscriptomes. However, Sanger sequences showed a large bias toward cultured taxa, likely because the primers are based largely on cultures. In all of these environments, the uncultured groups produced transcripts, suggesting that they were alive. It's often stated that less than 1% of cells in a given sample are culturable. One reason for this is the presence of cells from cultured lineages that express persister phenotypes called viable but non-culturable, or VBNC cells. Our work suggests that instead, some of them may be phylogenetically divergent non-cultured organisms, or PDNC. We estimate that about 56% of microbial cells on Earth are uncultured genera to classes, and 25% may be from uncultured phyla. This suggests that uncultured lineages are abundant and active virtually everywhere on Earth. 